Hello, everybody. This is Jeffrey here in Austin, Texas. At uh, right at West Dasney and South First. I just come from Walgreens over there and Dollar General over there. And uh, I did this video earlier, about 30 minutes ago, but uh, I messed up. So I'm redoing it. Look at my, look at my deals, whatever the name of those deals are, I keep on forgetting. They look like propellers, you know, look like I'm flying, I told somebody. Uh, I think airplanes have one propeller bigger than the other ones. Uh, that reminds me. On the Titanic, on the Titanic, the movie, Jack and Rose with stars, and that was their name in the uh, movie, that is. And, uh, and they had some co stars. And uh, Jack and Rose started liking each other, and then, uh, to get to my point, Jack asked her on the end of the plane, I mean, on the end of the boat, the ship. Uh, when they got at the very end on top on the deck he said put your spread your hands out like you're flying and I don't know if he said it like that and then the boy as the boat was moving he was holding her steady she said oh I'm flying <laughs> that's what it looked like right here look like right there anyway may all them souls rest in peace that lost their lives a lot of them that got saved that one, of, that was one of the best boats at the time, and in the 19 early hundreds. Uh, okay, I'm still, I'm still going. I'm two minutes and some. In the video I deleted, I went through all these colors on me. I think I'm out of somebody way good enough like that. Now that might not be good enough. Let me resituate this. I got my backpack back on my tie down because it started to hurt my back, you know? And uh, I'm glad I got that situation fixed. I'm glad I got that situation fixed over here. I got a bigger, I put the bigger hose tie on there, and then I had had the the little one is right there too, under it. So that got it back level. So I know most bikes ain't went made to carry all this weight, but long as I can rig it up, and you know, the ends the ends broke loose on them on the rail that attached to below there, the ends that how it's made broke loose. Well, I just rigged it up, and it's gonna stay, basically gonna stay with them hose ties. I've tied those tight as I can get. Me and the people in the bike shop, you know, uh, <laughs> maybe I did all them though, cause I redid some. Okay, but anyway, I'm glad I got that back backpack back there. I've been shopping today, y'all. Oh, one, one of these fell off. That's something else I said in the video where I deleted. The back one fell off. Like that's how this one look. This one look like that one. Let me stop it. Okay, so but I had it on the bus on the water on the bike, so that was too much forceful wind. The bus driving and forcing all that wind to the window. And uh this is a lot of wind, it's in, but they remind me of Propellers as I drive, it looks like I'm flying. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm on errands. Somebody gave me a, a toilet paper holder. A friend of mine gave me one in the past, but now somebody in the apartment gave me another one, shaped different than the other one. It's round, you know, but it's it don't have the top part like 
a handle sticking out like on the other one I got in the pad, but this one just straight up round. Apartment, apartment friend gave me. When she told me, I thought she was getting away. Oh, you getting away toilet paper? She said, no, nah, let me come show you. She put it in the kitchen. It was a holder. So, when the other one get filled, I can have another one. I got another one. I, I put that down more firmer than it was. I got the hook, the hook that go around holding the speaker. I got it hooked in on the string right there. See, <laughs> the black MacGyver. Okay, uh, okay, what else? I, I like this new basket I put on now. I reinforced it as I said in the uh, last video or two with some thicker zip ties I was reaching about. So it's, it's on there good. That's my it's on now. It ain't moving. Bike is moving, but that ain't moving. Wow. I, I had to. I had. I got. I had to give me some more popcorn. Two bags. And I, I. I bought this bag. Let me put this down. Okay, it's still recording. I'm. I'm covering what I said in the last video, and it's. it's Called a cuss word in the video on, in, in a rap song, but he came around and said, "God bless me." In the same mouth, the, the rapper. But uh, ain't ain't being judgmental. God uh, bless him. Okay. Anyway, uh, that was a car at the red light. Uh, man, they gone now. I like this. Uh, for a while, I was looking for. Cloth bag and cloth handles. They got cloth handle, but it's it look like kind of a slick plastic. It feel like so, so it'll be it'll be wider, you know. Then I'm gonna put some cardboard or something in the bottom. I already got some made. I can put in the bottom, you know, so it can be firm. It'll be more roomy than uh this these H E B bag. But uh, I left my other H.E.B. bag, uh, ooh, staggering in my mouth. I left my other H.E.B. bag with my, some stuff in it, in the apartment, and I thought I lost it, but it's in the apartment. I was rushing to get up out of there. So, I might go over there to uh, Driftland that way and look for uh, something that I can roll my laundry, some, some deal that I can roll, something that's, you know, I feel the work that I can roll my laundry to the uh, uh, laundry room with because I got one of them Kia, I think that's the name of it, bags, and it's kind of get heavy. And I noticed it affected my shoulder, you know. And uh, so, and I don't want to drag it, you know. I could drag it, but it probably going to make us. A snarl that ain't on ain't gonna want to tolerate. Let me put this bag back up. Then there's golden chicken if I want to eat. Yeah. I I I. I ate all my peanut butter up just yesterday and I almost forgot to get some more. I got some more. Skip it. And I got some apple sauce.
these masks have lasted a long time. I might have to put them on pretty soon. You know, I have rewashed, rewashed, rewashed. That is the last ones, you know, before I threw them away. And, uh, and but I think I think these I've been worn too before. Yeah, yeah. I have rewashed and rewashed and rewashed and wow. So I don't have to worry about that situation no more to the degree I had it with the other cloth mask. Me washing them and even putting them in the laundry. Uh, even sometimes doing both and smelling like dirt. <laughs> wow, I'm smelling clean now. Okay, what else is on my to-do list, y'all? I'm glad I ain't lost it. A friend of mine told me, encouraged me to dust my apartment. You know, cause I've been, I've been, I told her I am congested when I get in that apartment, but not out here, you know. And uh, I've been dusting like crazy the last couple of days, so I hope I'm I still congested while I'm doing it. Well, I ain't doing it in a mask, but I should. Maybe I need to try it in a mask. But I don't see no dust flying up. It's just going on a wet rag, you know. Uh, maybe I can try that scenario because she advised I do it in a mask. I just figured out my sleep schedule. When I'm trying to go to sleep, 2 a.m. I'm still up. 3 a.m. I'm still up. 4 a.m. I'm still up. 5 a.m. I'm still up. It's just that my body is accustomed to getting sleepy around maybe 6 something, a.m. something, 7 a.m. something. Then I really don't, still don't get that much when I go to sleep then. But, uh, 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 I was just talking to a resident about that, and uh, then somebody somebody else told me, my friend Carmen said, well, when you want to go to sleep at around 5, 30 a.m., 6 a.m., and 7 a.m., just don't do it so you can try to get your, he, she said that's the only way to get your sleeping schedule back right. So I wanted at night, you know, like 11, 8, 11 p.m., 12 12 a.m. and 1 a.m. I want to be sleep then. <laughs> like normal people, most normal people sleep. Well, if some, if somebody have a job that require them changing their hours of sleep, that's still a normal person. They just rearrange the sleep schedule. But I, I'm, I'm up like I got a all night security job or something, you know. But uh, but I, I'm, I told that resident in the apartment, I am so thankful for the sleep that I get. I think I average two and a half or three out of 24. And if it's God's will, somebody can live with that. I'm living. You know, I feel like when I get that little sleep and nap stowed in periodically, I feel I have adequately slept. You know what I'm saying? Then when I told that lady, I was talking to that resident, she's a friend of mine, Sherry, that I, in 2009 I was diagnosed with bipolar. Uh, she said, oh, she kind of understood my sleep issue a little bit better. It se she seemed to understand it better, you know. And uh, I said, but uh, I wasn't able to tolerate none of that medicine. Abilify, Seracryl, and whatever them names were. I, I, I told her every time I'd take one or two pills, it felt like I was dying. And, I couldn't tolerate that, you know. Even though the, the doctor at the time told me the, the, the bipolar medication can help you because they have sleeping properties, but I couldn't tolerate them. <laughs> Just like my mom couldn't tolerate her, her medicine. I heard she was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia. May she rest in peace. She passed away and went, went to the Lord. Uh, 11. 17, 2000. I wrote a poem about that. You know, uh, her uh, uh, celebrating her death, I wrote a poem. I love you, mom, is the name of that poem. I, the poem is short and I'm apologizing for being bad and, and uh, you know, and, 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 and hope to see her one day again in heaven, you know.
anyway, uh, uh, all right, uh, I tried all kind of sleeping pills, I was said this morning, and on all of them sleeping pills, I'm up one hour, two hours, three hours, so I was defeating the purpose of all the sleeping pills, and then 2010, I thought I was gonna die, around October, because that's when I missed six days straight sleeping, and I was in the church, and I asked them to pray for me, Two persons came over there and prayed. It might have been one. Prayed with me on the spot after I said that. And uh, then uh, I asked the doctor, I said, how many days can somebody, a human, live without sleep? He said, uh, 14. I got scared. <laughs> and then, uh, then no matter what somebody have told me or can tell me, I may have done that. Like that happened this morning with Sherry. And she kept on saying, we well, ringing up this, ringing up that. What about this? Have you tried this? Have you? I said, whatever you probably bring up, I, I, I probably didn't try it. So, so bottom line, uh, oh, when I went 35 days recording, 20 hours of sound sleep or less, I think I'm keeping record. Uh, Uh, I really got scared, but it seemed like even though I wasn't sleeping, I was, you know, I was like still being rest, rested up. You know, I, I still had some rest and like in this, that time frame again is popping back up. Back in 2010, around seven, eight, nine, it seemed like I had that, you know, that matter. I said, where was that coming from when I know I'm not sleeping? Maybe I, I was just getting, God kept me alive on relaxation. I told Sherry, there is four stages of sleep I heard about. Number one, you start getting tired. Number two, you're laying down. You, you, you're still awake, but you're trying to go to, you prepare for sleep. You're preparing yourself to sleep by laying down, relaxing. Number three, sleep. And number four, the highest, deepest form of sleep, REM sleep. I told her that that's what Michael Jackson was not getting because he was, I guess, an entertainer and always up and just doing things. And, and we couldn't shut his mind down. I'm not, I don't know all the facts, but I'm just guessing. But, uh, and when the guy, doctor shot him with propofol, that unfortunately took the wrong turn and he passed away, may he rest in peace. Uh, and I told him, I told her, I said, I'm getting desperate, like, for sleep, like possibly MJ, and I don't want to, you know, I just told myself, I don't want to keep taking all these pills because they ain't, I'm not allowing them to help or they ain't helping. And uh, I told her the bottom line, I'm just, I just depending on God, I'm just going to depend on God for sleep. And when I, the next year and on forward, and when months after that I started getting sleep, I said, wow, I'm really thankful. And that's why I heart heartily thank God every time I got any sleep. Because I thought I wasn't gonna I thought I was gonna die. Just without sleep, you know. Sleep that prop deprivation, I thought I was gonna just die there. So and and and, uh, and but even when I get a nap, I'm so thankful. I'm really thankful because I'm I got some sleep. <laughs> and uh oh by the way I added to Sherry. I added with Sherry that uh, I felt I had bipolar by